From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, January 26, 2016. In the news, a Fairbanks man was arrested Friday in what appears to have been a love triangle turned deadly. 35-year-old Leroy White was arrested on charges of first-degree murder in the death of his ex-roommate Donald McLean at a Rickard Street apartment. According to police reports, the 911 caller, Sonia Rubka, had been dating both McLean and White and had children with White. Rubka said White had found text messages between her and McLean and went to McLean's apartment to talk. The Alaska Senate Finance Committee heard from Department of Revenue Commissioner Randall Hofbeck on the latest Standard & Poor's report. The agency downgraded Alaska's general obligation debt to AA plus from a rating of AAA. S&P pointed to falling oil prices and concern over the state's ability to respond quickly to its financial crisis as reasons for the downgrade. Hofbeck told committee members that policy changes are needed to reverse the trend. However, some question whether a credit rating agency should be driving state policy. And it appears public infrastructure damage from Sunday's magnitude 7.1 earthquake in south central Alaska was limited to a small stretch of road on the Kenai Peninsula. State Department of Transportation spokeswoman Shannon McCarthy says a 150-foot section of Kalifornski Beach Road dropped about 18 inches in the northbound lane. McCarthy says no damage was found from early Sunday inspections of bridges in Anchorage, Kenai Peninsula, and the Matsu Borough. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Increasing clouds today with highs mid-teens to mid-20s. Tonight mostly cloudy, some flurries or maybe snow. Lows 5 below to 10 above. Tomorrow partly cloudy with highs in the mid-teens to mid-20s again. Extended outlook, variable clouds through the weekend with 20s Thursday and Friday, teens Saturday and Sunday. Air index is moderate in Fairbanks, unhealthy for sensitive groups in North Pole, and the aurora forecast is active. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. And remember, we're always available with news, sports, weather, and more on our KTVF website, webcenter11.com. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching.